Using a ring light in front of us, and both are going to deliver a good looking image. It will be more crisp on the Insta360 link, but with the price difference between the two, the stream cam does do a good job, although that image is slightly softer. The Insta360 link can also be downgraded from 4K 30fps to 1080p 60 frames per second, and it's still going to bring a really good looking image, and with much smoother movement. Even without the use of ring lights and just natural light coming in from outside, both of them do well. There is some over exposure on the Insta360 link, but you can manually adjust the settings to resolve this. In a completely dark room and just relying on the light from a laptop screen, then the stream cam did do better. If you do have a multi-screen setup, then that additional lighting will bring a much better result for the Insta360 link. The focus tests perform much better on the Insta360 link and it adjusts itself very quickly to keep what you're displaying in focus. The stream cam on the other hand just wouldn't adjust the closer we got to the lens. You can manually configure the focus in the Logitech software to get a great result, but the autofocus did struggle for us. Both do a good job with a green screen and we had no issues removing it without tweaking any of the settings. Both can be used for vertical format videos and the head on the Insta can be rotated using their own software, whereas the stream cam requires you to rotate the head manually. Image quality wise, they both perform extremely well, but I would say that the Insta360 link does deliver the better final image. This is a microphone test using the Insta360 Link webcam. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the inbuilt microphone. We are currently using the dual mono microphone. We are now using the stereo microphone. There's a lot of really good additional features that you get with the Insta360 Link and you can find them all by clicking the video that is on screen now.